Hello, good people. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Okay, um, we're going to start our discussion and our uh, strength building uh, exercises here on uh, bar courts. Okay, now before I really tear into it, before we, before we just launch in, I want to just talk to you for a minute. So pull up a chair. All right, we need to have a little powwow because there's uh, we get emails from people all over the world here at Next Level Guitar, and there is a lot of um, a lot of uh, how you say stigmas and a lot of kind of negative connotations that go along with bar chords, and I think personally that part of the problem people have with them is a lot of it is up here. A lot of it is mental because a lot of times they're all over the internet. If you just look up, and we look on all the forums, and Tim does a, a, a lot of canvassing of the forums to see. That's where we pull a lot of our material as far as what people want to know. We take it from, hey, what are what, what's the big challenges people are having with guitar? Because we're going to make it easy, right? One of the biggest things, and one of the most often asked questions, has to that we get has to do with bar chords from people that have been playing for years. They're like, I've been playing two, three years, and these bar chords, I just still can't seem to get them to sound good, and I, I still can't get them right or change to them. And can you help me? And uh, we get other emails from people saying, you know, they want to be able to play and open up another door, another avenue to this big group of songs, um, but they just can't get through the door because the, their bar chords are, they just can't get them to sound right, right? And everybody I hear a lot say, oh, bar chords are so tough. I've given up. I can't do it. So a lot of it is mental, and the thing is, you can do it, and you're going to be doing it, and you're going to be doing it very quickly with our methods, because we're going to use leverage, we're going to use some strength builders that I'm going to show you in a second, and we're going to get you playing bar chords in the fastest, most efficient way possible, because even if you're playing acoustic guitar, whether you're playing acoustic or electric, you're going to have to play some bar chords, because there are some chords that you're just not going to be able to finger in an open position. You're just not going to be able to stretch your fingers. In order to play a C-sharp minor open, you, you, you're gonna, it's, it's next to impossible. So you have to play the C-sharp minor bar chord. Um, uh, barring meaning, I'm barring with my first finger or one finger across multiple strings at once, up to six. If I'm playing off the low E string, all six. On the A string, five. And I'm going to bring the camera in tight and I'm going to show you this. So, um, remember, don't set yourself up for failure. I'm a big believer in self-fulfilling prophecies, um, which basically means that if you keep talking negative about a certain thing or I'm not going to be able to do this, I'm not going to, then you're not going to be able to do it. You're just going to psych yourself out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think it was important for me to have this dialogue with you for a few minutes just to get you pumped up and to say, you know what, I'm going to take everything I've heard about bar chords and kind of throw it out the window and start over from scratch because are they challenging? Yes. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that, that, they're, that they're, it's as easy as pie like these other things you'll read on the internet that say, I'll get you playing guitar in, 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 in 60 minutes like Jimi Hendrix. That's a true ad. I read that on the internet, which is just rubbish. How is that possible? Okay. Um, so I'm not going to lie and tell you it's, 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 it's a piece of cake. Bar chords are going to take a little bit of work. Yes, and you're going to have to practice them. Are they going to sound right the first time you try it? No. Okay. But like anything in life, people, it takes a little bit of work, anything worthwhile. But you can do it. Okay. So in order to be able to do this, to play these bar chords, you're going to have to build up a little bit of strength in your fingers. Now, obviously, you have a lot more strength in your fingers now than when you first started because obviously you're, you're, you're now at the level where you're playing a lot of open position chords and you're changing them and you're strumming and you're using this left hand and you're getting fast at the changes. So remember when you first started, how much work it was just to play a G chord. Do you remember that? You remember how hard that was to play a G chord? I can't, and now you're probably playing songs with G's in them and changing to them and it's no problem, right? That's what happens with guitar. It's a little bit at first, and then you practice it, and after a while it's automatic. You're on autopilot, okay? So, let me zoom in with the camera a little bit here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about bar chords. And, um, and uh, I want to give you a little exercise to, to strength build, okay? Now, you might know this already, but for the people that don't, um, obviously open position chords are called open, like all these chords you've learned earlier, like A minor and E minor. Right? An A minor. All those open chords are, are called open because you're playing at least one open string. 
with them. Whereas a bar chord, see, you're going to be taking, and in this instance, a first finger and barring across and pushing down across multiple strings and getting that one finger bar. Like when you played an F chord, right? I'm just going to clean up my amp a little bit here so it doesn't have as much gain on it, uh, as much distortion. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So, like when you played that F chord that for the first time, that was hard for you because you had to bar with your first finger across, across two frets. And then add your other fingers to sound that F chord. And that was hard because you had the bar and had some strength in this finger, okay? So a bar chord we're going to use to bar across multiple strings and put our other fingers also in a position to play certain chords. See, I'm barring across all six strings, okay? And no matter what chord I play, okay, I'm getting all these nice sounds from, from this bar, from this first finger bar. Let me give you another view of this. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm making it look easy because I've been playing a long time. Just getting this shape and these six notes to sound is going to take a little bit of work, but we're going to make it easy for you. Okay. So, let me give you a little exercise to try to build up a little strength. Because in order to play this chord, like I'm barring this, 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 this A major chord here, it takes quite a bit of strength in this first finger to push down, okay? And before we get into showing you some things on leverage and whatnot, it has nothing to do really with brute strength, okay? Because, I mean, I've had 10-year-old students that can play bar chords. So, if anybody tells you it has to do with brute strength, that's incorrect. It doesn't, okay? It has to do with technique, and we're going to teach you that here, all right? Okay, so as a primer, to get your fingers strong, let's go all the way down. Remember, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. Okay, let's go to the 7th fret. And what I want you to do is just take your first finger, and I want you to lie it across all six strings. Okay, and then let me give you another angle. Okay, right there. And push down with those, with your strength, of that and your thumb on the back of the neck, kind of squeeze it together. I'm just getting my other fingers out of the way so you can see this, okay? All six. Now, don't get your finger way up here over the neck. I want you to have your first finger. So your first uh, finger just kind of goes a little bit over the low E string. Not way, way up here, not down here. All six we're going to go for. And I want you to push down at the sixth, I'm sorry, at the seventh fret. And I want to see if you could sound all six notes, one at a time. Okay? So it should sound like this. Okay? Now, you might not be able to get all six notes, but I want you to practice that during your practice routines. Put that in there that you're practicing five, ten minutes a day. Okay? And try, keep trying to get. Now, don't angle your finger like this. Get it... Sh um, parallel to the frets, okay? Not like this, not like this, like this. And push down at the 7th fret. If you can't get it at the 7th, try it at the ninth because it's a little easier down here. The further down you go, it's going to get harder because you're going to have to hold down a longer length of string, okay? So try at the ninth fret. Push down. Okay, if you can't get that, then don't do all six. Try to do five and just push down five or four. So start with four, then go to five, then six. Then once you get it all down, six, and you can get all six to the ninth fret, then try going to the seventh fret. Again, I want you to get all six notes. You got it at the seventh fret, then go down to the fifth fret. And you're not going to be going down. This might take, you know, a couple days on each fret in order to get it. Then go down to the fifth fret. Now as I'm pushing, uh, I'm sorry, I'm at the seventh. Here's your fifth. Go down to the fifth. Now again, don't, eh, don't really, really crank and hurt your thumb. Just try to push down just hard enough to sound the notes. Okay? Don't worry about it. That doesn't sound like a good, a good chord because this is a strength exercise. Then when you got it at the fifth fret, try it at the third fret. And it's going to get considerably harder the more you go down. All six strings, one at a time. See, I'm going to play them for you here. OK? 
Okay? Then when you got that, the last step is see if you can get it at the first fret. Okay? Sometimes some students do this. And it is a little bit cheating maybe to get them at first. You can, you know, push a little bit with this finger just to get it, but I want to see that off and eventually you get it with just the first finger. Okay? So this is a strength builder where we're building up the strength in your finger to be able to push down to bar these notes. Okay? Remember, it's not just about brute strength. Okay? Because young kids can play bar chords, so that's no excuse. So I don't want to hear anyone, I don't have the strength to play bar chords. No! We will not accept that answer. Eh, incorrect! Wrong! 25 push-ups, please. No, we're not going to sign push-ups. Um, we'll assign more strength builders, okay? So, I want you to work with that, get that down, and then we're going to go on to more techniques. Once you learn that, go to the next module, and we'll keep going with the techniques. Also, keep doing those finger stretches, uh, because more finger stretches are coming. The finger stretches we've talked about in previous modules, on the back of the neck, on your arm, these, because that's really going to get your hand, again, stronger, and that's important on guitar, and we're going to get into stretching exercises, more of them, as we move on. So we'll see you in the next module and get ready to play some bar chords. Take care.